Hey everyone, how's it going? <laughs> hey Georgia, so I actually learned from last week. Thank you for everyone who, how's it going? <laughs> I actually learned from last week that I need to open up a separate window to see the chat and Georgia Harris was the one that gave me that tip. So thank you, Georgia. I can now see the chat. Hi everyone. Oh, I'm so excited to be here, hello. So yeah, so I just want to thank everyone for their patience last week because that was kind of um, annoying <laughs> for everyone involved. Um, and uh, you know, I also wanted to thank you guys because I got a comment um, during the chat, I think someone was like, you guys, you have like the best viewers. Like you guys were all like super cool and there wasn't any crazy stuff going on in the chat. And I was like, you know what? I do have the best subscribers. You guys are freaking awesome. So I just wanted to say thank you. You guys are great. So um, we are going to talk about a will I buy it? But I just wanted to give you an update on my Sephora haul, which I live streamed last week. I am going to be returning the Fenty Beauty Body Lava. <laughs> I tried it again and I got past the stickiness, but it also, it just doesn't do anything for my skin. It just kind of added a little bit of like glitter and a little bit of shimmer. But I, I, I guess I was expecting it to do a little bit more of like body blur, like skin blurring, and it didn't do that at all. So I'm gonna be returning that. Everything else I'm still playing with. And then um, I placed another order. <laughs> so I'm gonna be definitely doing another unboxing. I don't know if I'll do it live or if I'll just record it, but another Sephora VIB unboxing will be coming. Um, so, wow. Hi, Mexico. Hello, Toronto. This is international Bay area. Hello. Hello. Um, so I also wanted to do a follow up on some previous, will I buy it videos? Some things that I've mentioned, um, you know, will I be buying it? And I just want to let you know that either I did or I didn't and just sort of follow up on those things. So the Marc Jacobs coconut collection, basically his summer 2018 collection, I purchased that when it was made available to VIB, like early access. So I purchased that. I got the setting powder, the new dew drops, which is a little bit darker than last year's, and then the the shadow eyeshadow palette, which I think has seven colors in there. So I got those three things. Um, I also purchased um, the, I don't know actually if I mentioned this in a previous, will I buy it? I, I think I kind of like glommed it all together with the Chanel Le Beige collection. If you guys saw my eyeshadow palette uh, review, I didn't really like that, but I did end up also picking up the Le Beige. Um, it's like a tinted uh, SPF and I got it in the colored light. So I'm definitely going to be doing a review on that. Um, I think that's it in terms of previous will I buy it. Everything else I think I've either done a review for or I've talked about um, talked about already. Hey, Jenny, how's New York? Oh, I miss New York. I love Vegas, but I do miss New York because it's so different from Vegas. Yay, hi, Seattle. I love Seattle too. Um, Yes, the rose gold dew from Marc Jacobs does look really, really pretty. I'm afraid it may be a little bit too dark for me, but hopefully we can make it work. Um, so some other things. So I wanted to do this Will I Buy It live. Uh, Georgia Harris really inspired me to do this. And Samantha March is actually the one who kind of created this kind of topic. So between the two of them, they inspired me to do this topic and to do it live. And I really wanted to do this live because I feel like every time I create a list of will I buy it and then I think about the things and then I, you know, carve time out of my day and then I plan when I'm going to post it, like half of the things have been released or I've purchased them already. It just, it just happens too quickly. So I thought, why don't we just kind of do it live? I think that just makes a little bit more sense. <gasps> Hi, Paula. Mayak. Mayak Fibers is in the house. What's going on? How's Brooklyn? Hello from upstate. Um, so some things I had on my list and I've already gone out and purchased. So um, the Hourglass uh, new loose setting powder, 
I had that on my list and then it was released to VIB early access. So I purchased that. Um, I did not purchase the double ended brush that they're releasing with the loose powder because I don't like double ended brushes and I have enough brushes. So I got the powder that's definitely coming. I'm excited to try that. I really like Hourglass, their pressed powder formula, like all of their ambient lighting, stro powder, all of that stuff I really, really like. So I have high hopes for this uh, loose setting powder. And if you guys haven't seen pictures of this, let me actually pull up a picture um, of this for you. I actually saved them all here. So I hope you guys can see this. Let's see. So that's what the hourglass setting powder looks like. It has the H carved in there for the sifter, which is so cool. Typical hourglass uh, packaging with like the metallic brown lid. So I'm excited for that. Ordered that, that's on its way. Um, I also had on this list the new Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes. And um, it's like I put it on the list and then she did this um, like VIP early access sale thing. So I jumped on that and it actually just arrived. So we're going to do a little unboxing here. I don't know if you guys have ever ordered straight from Charlotte Tilbury before, but it comes packaged with her like oxblood mahogany red color. And I think there's other stuff that's part of this collection that she's released like mascara maybe, but I'm not going to be getting that. You guys know how I feel about mascara. Um, <laughs> someone's blaming me for um too much setting powder in their life i get it um okay so here is which one is this one where's the oh, okay aren't there there's like names to this one's like exaggerize and one is like not mesmerize i think that's old but anyway here are the boxes Aren't those pretty? And I actually didn't realize this, but these are limited edition for now. We'll see what happens. Uh, typical Charlotte Tilbury packaging. Okay, so this is transform eyes. That does not roll off the tongue. Transform eyes. And, oh, this is pretty. That's nice. That's really pretty. That warm like terracotta shade. What is my hair doing? So that's Transform Eyes. Of course, I'll do a whole video on these, complete with swatches and stuff. And I think I'll probably do um, swatches on my Insta stories. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see that. And this one, oh, this is really pretty. This one is Exaggerize. That rolls off the tongue a little bit better. Let me actually hold them up one next to another. This is awkward. So this one is much warmer. The Transform Eyes is much warmer than the Exaggerize. The Exaggerize is uh, much more neutral. So those are the CG palettes. Definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, the other thing that was on my list that I've already gone ahead and purchased, um, Tom Ford came out with new Extreme Lips these lip lacquer extremes. So the lip lacquer came out like a couple weeks ago and then came out with more lip stuff. And this is part of the extreme set. So extreme family. So it comes in like silver packaging like this. And the colors are absolutely insane. So I'm just going to show you a video that I took while I was at the Neiman's counter. And you guys can see how crazy it was. Let's see if I can find it. What is going on here? Um, 
Sorry, I can't find this video I took. Where'd it go? It's also on my Insta stories. Oh, here it is. Let me show you this picture. I hope you guys can see that. But those are the Tom Ford Extreme lips. So they're like a matte liquid lipstick. They dry down matte. They're like transfer proof, but they all have this crazy metallic sheen to them. So they don't look matte. They are matte, but they don't look matte. And they definitely feel matte, which is not really my thing. So I only got one. I got this uh, slicker color. And I don't know if I'm going to do a whole video on this one thing, but if you guys are interested in that, I can do it. You guys can't really see the metallic sheen to it, but it has this like metallic frosty sheen. And if you're into like fluorescent pink and purples and there's like a duochrome purple, then you're really going to love this. And if you don't mind kind of like a dry liquid lip feeling, you'll really like these. Um, but those are the new Tom Ford Extreme Lips. Um, hi, Rosa. Yes. Yes, Neiman Marcus is uh, much more exciting to me these days than Sephora. Um, okay, so those were some of the things that I had on my list that I've already gone out and purchased, but I have a whole list of other stuff, um, including the new JLo Inglot collaboration. So that just, I feel like that just sort of came, like they were trickling out the, the photos of it, and then all of a sudden it was like, bam, here's the entire collection. So I don't know if you guys saw it, but here is like the display of all, all, I think there's like 70 products or something. So it looks like there's lipsticks, lip glosses or liquid lips, some pigments, nail polish, eyeshadow palettes, loose powder. I mean, the works. So at first I wasn't that excited. I think they just released a picture of like this face palette or something, or like, a face palette that included maybe four eyeshadows and some blushes or a bronzer. Um, and it just looked like, like even a little bit too neutral for me, but this is starting to look a little bit more exciting. Like this eyeshadow palette actually looks really, um, really cool. So I hope you guys can see that, but I did snag this picture off of Trend Mood's uh, Instagram feed. So you can find it there as well. Um, Where is that available? So yeah, this is at Inglot. So they have their own stores and then I think they're sold at Macy's, but I don't think they're sold through any other retailers, at least not that I'm aware of here in the US. I don't know about overseas because I think they're I think they're a Polish brand. They're definitely a European brand. Um Yeah, I'm I'm really excited about this collaboration too. I think it was really unexpected to have such a big star like JLo collab with Inglot, which is, I think flies under the radar most of the time. They're just very pro and, you know, no one really talks about them too much. So I think that's really exciting. And I hope that puts them kind of on the map because I, um, I haven't actually purchased that much from Inglot, but there's a store here in Las Vegas and I go in and I swatch all the time and I love everything, but then I get overwhelmed because they have so much. Um, and then I walk out empty handed, but I'm hoping with this collection, I'll kind of, um, enter into the Inglot world. Um, oh yeah, Beautylish Online, sorry. Online retailers, I forgot. Um, Beautylish sells them and yeah. So, okay, what do I have next? So, um, you know those Stila bouncy highlighters? They're huge. They come in this huge square compact and it's like domed but you, they're like putty, like you can press into them. Anyway, they came out with a new color, which I believe is like champagne rose. And I've been tempted to get the kitten. Yeah, I think kitten is the colorway that I've been um, interested in. And I just, I just have never picked it up. So I'm kind of tempted by this. Have you guys ever tried this texture? I feel like I'm on the fence about this texture. I never know, like how to treat it because it kind of dries down to a powder. So I'm like, do I treat it like a powder? Or do I treat it more like a cream? 
I don't really know. So that's on the maybe list. I'm not too sure about that. It's also just a lot of highlighter. Like it is a huge, gigantic pan. So I don't know if I can commit <laughs> to all of that. Um, Char Charlie G, are you talking about the Stila that you heard from Nicole that it's amazing? Um, okay. They dry out on me fast. Yeah. I'm a sucker for bouncing. <laughs> Do I want a Stila putty highlighter? I like highlighters a lot. I don't, yeah, I don't know. This color looks really pretty. So I think if I'm going to be getting one, this will be it. This kind of reminds me, at least in this picture, this reminds me of that Becca collab with Sananas. Kind of has that coloring to it. Like it's pink, but there's like a strong gold undertone. Okay, yes. So uh, Young Wild and Polished Nicole really liked these. And I trust her opinion. I know I know she's had some drama in the past, which I was unaware of. I actually just found all of that out. But um, I trust her opinion. I think she has actually some good uh, recommendations. Um, cool. Okay. Um, next, what do I have on my list? So I have talked about the Melt um, Baby Girl eyeshadow stack that they were coming out with. You know, I, I it looks really pretty, um, but I really want to see good pictures of it because, I don't know, some of the pictures I've seen, all the shades look very, very similar, which I'm not going to spend my money on. But they kind of held off on the release of those, and now they're going to be releasing, like, all of this other crazy stuff. So they're releasing, like, these blush highlighters. This top one, I don't know if it's coming across, is like a mint green. I don't know if you guys are seeing that as like white, but that's like a mint green. And then I think these three down here are more matte. And then these are metallic. So I'm, I think that's real. I mean, I think these look really, really cool. Like I probably will never use a color like this or like this, but all of these look really interesting in terms of highlight or blush. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Oh, I'm loving my decorte items. Yeah, they're just really nice. They're very, um, sorry, someone was asking if I'm enjoying my decorte items. I did a haul video. They're a Japanese brand and um, the, it, it's very Japanese. It's like, um, I don't know, I feel like uh, European or American companies, the colors are really, really bold. They're very, very pigmented. And then Asian companies, the coloring is much more soft and neutral. And, you know, eyeshadows always have like a little bit of sparkle. Um, it's They're all like very, very pretty. So I felt the same way about the Decor Tay line. It just, it's very, very pretty. It's very, very feminine. And um, I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. The Eye Glow Gems, I think is what it's called. They remind me very much of like the Chanel uh, soft shadows. Just really, really nice. So I am enjoying it. Steel highlighters are better for me with my fingers. Okay. That's good to know. Um, what else? Did anyone have any opinions on that melt stuff? <laughs> you know, someone's asking about what's happening in mascara. Is a new one coming out? I don't know. I am just terrible with mascara and I just barely ever use it. So I'm sorry. I'm like the wrong person to ask in regards to mascara. Um, yes, I purchased the hourglass setting powder. Um, hey, Mona. Um, yeah. So when Mona was visiting me here in Vegas, we stopped into the Barneys uh, in the Venetian and uh, we had a fairly aggressive salesperson, so I was a little bit turned off, but she was really pushing the By Terry mascara. It's the one that like twists and like the bristles kind of like move and it is amazing. Um, Mona put it on and she already had mascara on, so we were like probably not gonna see a difference, but it like instantly made it look like she had fake lashes on. It was absolutely amazing. Hey, Nikki, 6543. She's an Instagram pal of mine. How are you? So yeah, so Mona is loving that mascara. Um, she picked it up on the spot. 
and we were, I think, just having a conversation about how we weren't buying anything because the VIB sale was coming up. <laughs> um, okay. So, Mel, Charles, oh, all right. Now, this is available already, but I just, I don't know what to think of this. This is the new Becca highlighter. It's in Dreamsicle, I believe is the name. And it's basically just like a pink, peachy orange highlighter. Did anyone pick this up? I think this has been out for like a week or so. Um, <laughs> so bad. Oh, Milk Kush Mascara. All oh, right, that came out on 420, uh-huh. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about an orange highlighter. Of course, the promo pics look fantastic on the model. The model, I think, had a deeper skin than me. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's too orange. Dream School is way too orange, yeah. But I am darker, so I think it'll work. I think it will work on like medium, medium to dark skin tones. I think this would be beautiful. So I'm a little bit jealous, but yeah, I, I don't think this will work on me. Maybe as like a blush topper, but I don't wear like orange blush too often. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, and so next I have on here, this I think is far off. I'm not sure, but this is a picture I grabbed from Trend Mood. So Jouer is coming out with a new concealer and there's not much information on here, but since it's kind of a follow-up to, um, I can't remember the name of the foundation, but their foundation that comes in that small square bottle and it's like super, super duper full, full coverage. I have a feeling that this concealer is gonna rival like Tarte Shape Tape, that it's gonna be like super full coverage. And if that's the case, then I don't think that's for me that those are generally very, very drying, which my skin can't really handle. But um, Becca Nicole Guerrero kit has something similar, so I know it won't work for me. Oh, the ABH Nicole Guerrero. Oh, you're right. That one, does, yeah, I have stayed away from that one um, in regards to the Becca Dreamsicle highlighter. Yeah, there's one in the Nicole ABH palette that is like a peachy orange uh, coloring. Um, oh, someone's asking about, actually a couple of people are asking about um, the Armani Beauty Neo Nudes collection. Um, I talked about that in my last Will I Buy It? And I was more excited about it then. I think I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. There was a powder foundation, which I had found out about. And then um, there were all these things that looked like lip gloss to me, but they actually ended up being uh, like a liquid highlight, a liquid contour, a liquid blush, but in the same exact packaging as their like lip magnets. Um, I don't know. So when I found out that it was like blush and I don't know, I just, and I don't mind cream products, but I just feel like, in the lipstick case, and then I'm gonna brush that on my skin. It just seemed a little bit weird. Um, I'm not really sure. Has anyone here got the Armani stuff? And I went on to the Nordstrom site, I think, and they had the powder foundation, they had the highlight, they had the contour, but I think they were sold out or it was a pre-order for everything else. And then I kind of just lost interest, but I don't know. And I'm loving the Kogendo gloss film powder foundation. So I don't feel like I need another powder foundation in my life just yet. Hi. Um, okay. We'll be trying out the new Chanel foundation. I'm trying this one out. Um, someone's asking if I'm going to be trying out the new Chanel foundation. So this is the new tinted SPF. It is a very, very light coverage. I don't know if this is the one you were talking about. I don't know if Chanel came out with another new foundation. Um, all right, let's, let's keep moving. So Jouer concealer, we'll see, we'll have to see what happens. 
Yeah, if it's more of like a sheer, then I'll go for it, but not if it's like super duper heavy. So someone is saying that the Armani powder foundation is very drying. I'm guessing the original powder foundation, not, not the Neo nudes. Um, so speaking of, whoa, this picture is way too big. Sorry, I don't know why this is so gigantic and pixelated, but this is the new Hourglass. They're not calling it a concealer. They're calling it something else. It's part of this whole veil line that they're releasing with the setting powder and the double-ended brush. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I feel like someone's gonna need to explain this to me if it's not a concealer. They're saying you can like use it to touch up makeup without causing your makeup to get cakey. Um, and yeah, I just, I just don't know. And I think it's maybe color correcting also, it's supposed to like help brighten your complexion a little bit. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but they did not like pre-release this. They only pre-released the setting powder and the double-ended brush. So I didn't get this. Um, yeah, and I think I'm gonna have to see also like with the color ranges, I don't think there's a lot of colors. So we'll see. I don't know if you guys are interested in this. It's a retouching fluid, someone is saying. It's a retouching fluid kind of serum-like and hydrating. Well, that would be perfect for me. I, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm having like an eczema breakout here. Yeah, right here. There's a spot here and a spot right over here. And I think, I think unfortunately it's because I've been eating like total crap junk food for the past like three months. And yeah, and this is what I get eczema. Anyway, um, I would love something that's like a hydrating serum for this whole, this whole situation. <laughs> um, Mona, are you using a new eye primer? I am not actually. And, um, you know, over here, I don't usually put like eyeshadow stuff this far over. So this is definitely either from new skincare or foundation or powder. And I haven't really been, I haven't introduced any new skincare. And um, I'm trying to think, I have been playing around with a lot of foundation. I think, I think my problem is mixed. I think a lot of it is diet and it's not, it has not been good. So I'm not really surprised, but also I've been doing a lot of reviews and usually I like to let my skin rest a bit and have, days where I'm just not wearing any makeup and I haven't really given my skin a lot of time to kind of breathe and reset. So I feel like, I feel like that could be contributing to this whole problem. Um, did I say I'm allergic reactive to essential oils? Um, I don't know what I am specifically reactive to, but I just know that any dermo I visited or any sort of uh, skincare specialist, they've always said, if you have sensitive skin or you're prone to eczema, anything like that, that you should stay away from essential oils because they're very, very potent. They're very strong. So um, yeah, so I kind of stayed away from, I stay away from essential oils. Hi, Brittany. You like La Prairie? I do like La Prairie. I actually use their eye cream and I've been using it a lot. It's not helping with this eczema at the moment, but um, I've been using the eye cream for a long time now and um, I do like it a lot. Hello. Wow. Chile. Hello. Um, okay. What do I have next on my list? So a couple more things from Chanel. This next thing, I'm not actually sure if they're going to be releasing this in the States. And that makes me nuts because I'll see it on Instagram and it'll be some, you know, blogger from like Singapore, let's say. And they're like, this is the best product ever. And I'm like, why isn't that available here? So at first I thought this was like some new perfume or some body spray or something. So this Lou Tan Chanel is actually a self tanner. It's a spray mist and it's like a gradual self tanner. So I think I saw it on like the Chanel European site and maybe their Asia site, uh, their Hong Kong site, 
but I have not seen it um, here in the US. So, um, so yeah, so hopefully, hopefully it will come here, but I feel like if it would, it would have already, does that make sense? If it was going to be released here, then it would have been released here by now, but I haven't seen it at all. I don't know if you guys have seen this um, Chanel product yet, this like self tanner. My derm told me that eczema is an allergy to dairy. You know what? I can believe it. As soon as I have a lot of dairy, um, sugar, and any kind of sugar, so like carbs, fruit, like any kind of sugar, my eczema will flare up. And I've had a lot of dairy lately, like a lot of cheese and a lot of ice cream. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, I just need to kind of reel it in, in every way. Yes, Charlie G, uh, Bubbly Michelle's IG page is where I saw this, this product. And I really, really want it. Um, Chanel, my favorite concealer for dry skin. It is one of my favorite concealers. Um, but I think if you have like really, really, really dry skin, I would go for the by Terry, um, the terribly, I'm going to slaughter the pronunciation, but terribly denseless. It's like a serum foundation. The coverage is not that high, but it's so nourishing to the under eye. It just feels amazing. It doesn't feel like concealer at all. It really feels like uh, skincare. Um, so yeah, anyway. Oh, thank you. Someone just said I have great skin. Well, <laughs> thanks, but it doesn't feel like I have great skin and I even have a little breakout here. Um, but thank you. Yeah. Love dairy, cheese, and ice cream. My weaknesses for sure. I actually did the paleo diet for a long time. I lost all this weight. My skin looked great. I had all this energy. I probably did it very strictly for about nine months. And what took me down was cheese. It wasn't anything else, but I was like, I need to have cheese in my life. I can't do it anymore. Um, so that Chanel product. And then this Chanel product, I actually saw in store. This is basically like an oil, like a beauty oil that they've come out with. I don't know much about it, um, but I am really into oils and I like adding oil to my liquid foundations every once in a while if I'm feeling really dry um, or if I just feel like maybe the foundation just has a little bit too too much coverage for me. I like to kind of like water it down with some oil. So this one is uh, very intriguing to me. I don't know if any of you out there have tried this, but I may give this a whirl. It's, um, you know, it's Chanel. So it's definitely pricier than a lot of the oils that I'm used to. I think this bottle is like 125. I don't know the size actually. So I shouldn't say if it's more or less expensive than the other ones I've been using. Um, Cause I don't know how much is in there, but at that price tag, I feel like I would want to know for sure that it's a good one. So that's the LeBlanc. Chanel oil. Um, I do have a favorite oil. Mine is the Sunday Riley Juno oil. And so the Juno oil is especially formulated for um, sensitive skin. So there are no essential oils in there. The um, <laughs> That Chanel oil definitely deserves a try. I think so too. I think so too, Rosa. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love the Juno oil. It is um, just, it just makes my skin just look really healthy, really plump. Um, you have to get past the scent. It is a very organic herbal scent. At first I thought it smelled like, um, like graphite pencils. Like when you sharpen like old school pencil, it had that smell. And then once that kind of fades a little bit, then it just sort of smells like herbs, like just really organic herbs, but I'm used to it now and I actually like it now. <laughs> so anyway, it's been a couple years. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. What else do I have here? Um, oh, this is actually the last thing I wanted to talk about. So this Kiehl's. It's a glow formula skin hydrator. And I think basically it's, 
people are using it as like a glowy primer. Um, I'm not exactly sure if that's what Kiehl's intended it to be, but I think that's what people are using it for. Um, there, you know, Kiehl's puts a lot of like fruit extracts and things like that. And again, if you have sensitive skin, that may not be the best thing. Um, but gosh, it was a YouTuber that was raving about it. I can't remember who now. Um, Juno oil is the one that goes from like pink to yellow. Is the, is the Juno oil. Hi, Brenda. I'm a fan of Marula oil. I have Sahara dry skin. I do too. <laughs> Um, Mona's asking if I got the new Marc Jacobs stuff yet. Not yet. I think that stuff is arriving either tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, what's a good moisturizer for sensitive skin? I am, and I know this is very controversial, <laughs> but I'm a huge fan of the La Mer soft moisturizing lotion. I used to use the like original cream when I lived back in New York during the winter time. It was like this moisturizing mask for my face all day. Um, but I love La Mer. It's just, it's amazing. It's one of those products that you'll use and you're like, okay, you know, like I feel moisturized and then you'll finish your bottle and you're like, oh, let me try something else. And then you'll try something else and you'll be like, oh, no, 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 no. I need to go back to the La Mer. <laughs> it's definitely one of those products. Um, I think that's all I had on my list of will I buy it? Do you guys have any other will I buy it or new releases coming out that you're wondering whether or not um, whether or not I'm gonna get the solution 10. I don't know what that is. So my mother who you know, I actually don't know if she has dry skin. I think she actually has normal skin. I get my extremely dry skin from my father. Thanks, Dad. Um, but she loves the Josie Marin Argan Oil Light. She uses that, I think, every morning, I think before she puts her foundation on um, and every night. She just loves it, absolutely loves it. Oh, quick follow-up. Speaking of Sunday Riley, since we're talking about um, skincare, um, so I hauled this during the Sephora VIB, uh, my unboxing, and I picked this up for my husband who normally has always had very, very clear skin. And now he's breaking out, um, you know, like where his beard growth is. And, um, you know, he wasn't doing much about it. He's a guy. He was just like, Oh, this is annoying. Um, but I was like, this is getting like a little like out of hand. Like, I don't know what's happening here. So he was like, well, get me something. So I got him this. And so he's been using, he's not using the mask. I was like, I feel like that could be a little overkill because I'm not sure if his skin is sensitive. So he's been using the oil and the melting water gel toner. And then he's been using the belief, the moisturizing balm. Uh, Cause I have that and I don't really use it because that's actually not moisturizing enough for me. That's how dry my skin is. Um, and he's been loving this by the way. And his skin is definitely clearing up and um, it's even helping with like the little uh, scars and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, so that is uh, just a quick update <laughs> on the UFO stuff. Oh, Nick, you love the UFO oil. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. He's, he's loving it. Oh, the Marc Jacobs coconut bronzer. Did that come out? Did that come out with the early VIB sale release with the rest of the stuff? I think it maybe did. I have it from last year, so I didn't get it this year. So I'm not, I didn't even click on it. So I don't even know if that was available during the early release with the other stuff, with the new stuff. Yeah, the Sunday Red, it works. It just smells, it just smells awful. But I guess that's what happens when you don't add fragrance to stuff. It kind of just, it reeks. Oh, it did. It's sold out now. Okay. Do I like, Mona's asking me if I like that bronzer. Are you talking about the Marc Jacobs? Um, I do like the Marc Jacobs one very, very much. It's a really nice, like neutral, slightly warm leaning bronzer. So it's just a very nice bronzer. It's not a great contour, but it's a nice kind of like brush all over, you know, over the bridge of your nose kind of bronzer. It's very, very nice. 
and it blends really, really nicely. Um, and which one do you prefer, Marc Jacobs or Chanel Bronzer? Um, they're different for me. The Chanel bronzer that I have, I have the tub, that Soleil tan de Chanel, de Chanel, <laughs> that crazy one. That one I use like as a, as like a cream uh, bronzer. Um, so I use them kind of like in a different way than the Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs is like a big powder. Um, Bobby Brown or Tom Ford bronzer. That depends too. Like the Bobby Brown bronzers are matte and then they do have shimmery ones, but their shimmery ones are like super shimmery. The Tom Ford, at least the gold dust that I have, it has a little bit of something in there. It's not totally matte, but it's not like crazy shimmery. So again, I kind of use them for like different purposes. Um, and then I think someone asked me what foundation I'm wearing tonight. I have actually everything listed, everything that I'm wearing listed in the description box for this uh, live stream. But to answer your question, I'm wearing the um, Shantikai Just Skin Tinted uh, Moisturizer in the color Vanilla is the shade that I use. And I like it if I just want something really easy and light and it has SPF and it just, it's a great kind of all around. Which Tom Ford bronzer do I like best? I like the gold dust in the original formula. So they came out with like a new formula, the ultimate bronzer, and it's just hard. It's like, it's, it's baked or something. It's just hard to pick up. I mean, it'll eventually build up, but, um, it's just, it's kind of, it's just annoying. It just takes too long. I just like the regular old powder. And, oh, Jenny is asking, this is actually interesting. Jenny is asking if Shantakai is coming out with any new things for summer. A friend of mine here in Vegas would actually just sent me a picture of something that was on someone's Insta stories. Let me see if I can find it. Um, but they, it looks like they're coming out with a bronzer. Um, and it looks like it's in the same packaging as the Le Payette's highlighter, that kind of weird square gunmetal compact. So I think, I think that's coming out. I feel like if you're going to be releasing a bronzer, like now is the time. So I don't know what they're waiting for, although they always seem to be kind of slow. Um, but let me see if I can find this. Um, Shantakai bronzer. I don't know if... Carla, if you are still here, do you remember where you saw it? <laughs> Carla's my poor friend that was helping me last on the last live stream. She was the one that was actually transcribing all those questions. I still need to take her out to dinner. Um, I don't see, let's look at their story. No, I think it was on someone else's story. I don't think it was on Shantikai's story, but um, if I find it on here, I will show you guys. Transcript of the eyebrow um, Okay. Remember moisturizing cream. Um, better than Gucci bronzer. Gucci bronzer is really, really nice. Um, I want to say that I think there's only one out of the four that's matte and then the rest have some shimmer in there. And the shimmer level for the Gucci bronzer, I feel like is between Tom Ford and Bobbi Brown. It's like a little bit more than Tom Ford. Very, very nice. I have the color Indian sand, which is a little bit of like a strong bronzer for me. So I just don't use it that often, but it is a lovely texture. Yeah. Mona is saying, I love my Gucci bronzer. Um, it's a lovely texture. So if you can find your right shade in Gucci, I definitely recommend it's, it's, uh, it's lovely. It's really lovely. Um, my Chanel La Beige bronzer is amazing. I have some from like a couple years ago, this is my issue with Chanel powder products. I think they're beautiful. They work lovely. I mean, they're just, they're gorgeous on the skin. The fragrance, I feel like every time I open up that compact and I'm like blasted with the fragrance, I just sort of close it and put it back down. Um, hi, Gia. Um, I have never tried the Sicily Double Tensor Primer. That is definitely on my list to try. Um, 
And yeah, Mona's saying that Indian, the Gucci bronzer and Indian sand is the perfect tone for her. And she's darker than I am, deeper than I am. And um, yeah, yeah, it's perfect for her. Oh, the Chantecaille um, St. Bart's bronzer. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm glad you like it. It is gorgeous. I love the Chantecaille powders. There is, I mean, there is something really special about their their um, pressed powder formula. All of their pressed powders that I've tried, their blushes, their bronzers, their powder are just gorgeous. <gasps> Takashi, hi. Hi, Takashi. He is, Takashi is here and he is a makeup artist um, based in New York City. And we've become fast Instagram friends. I'm going to have to visit him the next time I'm in New York. Um, but yeah, so the Chantecaille powders, fabulous. St. Bart's is beautiful, beautiful. If you have my skin tone, it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Do you guys have any other questions? Uh, the Ilya Foundation. So what I wanted to kind of end the, the live stream with, but I'll just talk about it now, um, is what's coming up on my channel soon. And I was planning, and I think maybe I mentioned this during my last live stream, I really want to do like, you know, like a week of foundation reviews or uh, like five days of foundation kind of series on my channel. And I, um, especially because I have this Chanel, I purchased the Ilya and the Sunday Riley during the VIB sale. And I have other ones that I really want to try. But because of my eczema, I think I need to kind of slow down on the complexion products and kind of give my skin a little bit of rest. So um, I still want to do it, but I don't think I'll be able to do it as quickly as I wanted to. I wanted to do it this coming week. Um, so if you guys are okay waiting, <laughs> I can do like a foundation week, maybe next week. Um, yeah, the, the following week. And um, I'm definitely going to be putting up a review on the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows for sure. And oh, so I just want to show you also, I, I think I made you just a quick review on the Tom Ford Extreme Lips, but I just wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see, maybe there but it dries down and it's like, like transfer proof, but it even feels like crunchy, <laughs> crunchy on my skin. If matte lipsticks don't, uh, not matte lipsticks, if liquid lipsticks, matte liquid lipsticks don't bother you and you love that transfer proof thing, then definitely check out the Tom Ford Extreme Lips. Definitely. Oh, great. Thank you, Lori. Um, oh, okay. Thanks, Jenny. She's, she's saying she can wait for foundation reviews. Okay. Um, foundation week would be great. CD palettes. Okay. Thank you guys. You guys are really sweet. I really do have like the best viewers. So, so sweet. And hopefully this will go away. I'm going to, I'm going to cut the dairy out for a couple days and see what happens. The carry and the, uh, the dairy and the, uh, sugar out of my diet for a couple days. Um, reviews on more natural makeup lines. I could do that. You know, what's funny is most of the time, and this is going to sound like I'm nuts, but natural makeup lines bother my skin. <laughs> Isn't that the weirdest thing? I tried the Jane Iredale. I think that's how you pronounce it. She has like mineral, um, natural kind of clean ingredient makeup. And I tried one of her, I think one of her powders or whatever. My face got so itchy. I had to take it off immediately. So that didn't work for you, uh, for me. <laughs> that didn't work for you. That didn't work for me. Um, and there was another, another clean line that I tried and it was a disaster. I can't remember, but 
you know me, I'm all for trying stuff. And I know Ilya is like a cleaner kind of makeup line. So, and I'm definitely giving that foundation a shot. I just hope it works. <clears throat> what do you think that was in it? That I have no idea. Maybe just the fact that it's like mineral based. Maybe it's just like the mineral um, ver <laughs> like versus talc, which I have no problem with. I really don't, I really don't know. Um, yeah, having sensitive skin is is funny because it's not like it's just sensitive to harsh things. It's it's more like it's just moody. Like my skin is just moody. It just doesn't like certain things and that's it. And that's if, no explanation. It's just weird. <clears throat> um, RMS, I tried their um, cream shadow. That didn't work for me. It kind of just like melted away. Uh, juice I haven't tried. <laughs> I have this weird thing against Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> so I stayed away from Juice Beauty, but that's ridiculous. I should probably give them a shot. 100% pure I haven't tried. The, uh, oh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Kair Weiss, Kair Weiss. Um, so I was with a friend and she purchased a whole bunch of it from Barney's and she said in like two weeks it all went bad. And so that kind of turned uh turned me off from it so um yeah i want to i want to i want to kind of visit that on my own but i definitely want to buy it from a place that is going to be a-okay with me returning it if that happens so that's the kajir kajir weiss uh stuff um <laughs> mona she is so annoying i mean i'm sorry i'm sorry gwyneth but you're annoying <laughs> um Dr. Jart Tiger G, you know, I was just watching Flower Bomb 31, um, Natalie, and she was raving about that. And I had never even heard of it or seen it or anything. So I put that in my Sephora cart. Is there anything else I should get at Sephora before this VIB sale is over? You know, when I did my 10 recommendations, I was like over the sale. I was like, whatever, I'm not going to get that much. And then I placed, you know, a couple orders that first weekend. And then I placed a couple more this past weekend. And now I'm like freaking out that I'm going to forget something. And I was the one that told you guys not to stress over it. Um, so <laughs> let me know. Um, let me know if there's anything I need to get before this sale is over. Do I find Jouer lipstick too drying? Um, the Their lip creams. Um, I do find drying. I do. Maybe the first hour is tolerable. And then after that, I feel like it just gets drier and drier and I have to take it off. Um, oh my, she's definition of white privilege. <laughs> she is a little bit, but you know, it's same at the same time. It's like, it's not her fault. That's her life, you know, but yeah, she's annoying. <laughs> um, I just, Oh, Miss Fuzzy Butters. Um, I'm going to text my husband and see if he'll bring her in here. I agree about you. My face oil, blue tansy calms inflammation, helps soften the skin. I've heard that about blue tansy. Um, I tried one product from May Lindstrom. She's like an, oh, she's a clean, well, she doesn't really do makeup. She has skincare. Um, I love her honey mud mask. And then I tried her blue cocoon, but it's like this um, balm ointment texture. And I felt like I never had the right amount of product. I either didn't have enough on um, and then I would try and go in with a little bit more. And then I felt like I had like just too much stuff on my face. Um, so I need to try a different blue tansy <laughs> product. Um, yeah. Will you ever do a video with your husband? Probably not. He, um, no, <laughs> he would not be into, into this at all. Um, the, oh, Eve Loam has a new oil. Okay. I don't think it'll irritate. Eve Loam, I do like Eve Loam. Um, I've tried her cleansing balm and that was really, really nice. Um, Miguel. <laughs> yeah, Miguel is, um, he, fun fact about my husband, Miguel, he just, and I'm talking like last week, maybe two weeks ago, just joined Facebook. So this is, this is what we're dealing with. Um, so blue cocoon, I'm taking notes, guys. So blue cocoon, Eve Loam. <laughs> yep, 
You love blue cocoon. So maybe I need to give that a shot again. Um, Eve Lum oil. Has anyone tried? I think there's, um, oh, the herbivore oil. That's right. Doesn't Sunday Riley have a blue something? Totally can't remember. Yeah, you know, the blue cocoon was really nice. Again, it was just that form. I wish it just was in a different form. I wish it was like a cream. But yeah, I just didn't really like that um, ointment. Oh, Nikki, her Luna oil. Isn't there something else? I feel like she has something in like a jar. Blue title. Blue title. Sunday Riley night oil is blue and I use it all the time. There's a lot of stuff in Sunday Riley's line though that I can't use because of my um, sensitive skin. Um, but I can try the, the blue cocoon. Oh no, blue title sucks. Okay, so that's one thumbs down for, <laughs> for blue title. And drunk elephant I've stayed away from because they have a they use a lot of different acids in their products, probably not in their oil, um, their marula oil, but um, but yeah, I stay away from drunk elephant. That stuff would just my I would look like a burn victim. Blue title is more of a cleanser. I use it as a quick mask. Okay. Mahalo. That's a brand that I've heard quite a bit about lately. Mahalo. They have a blue tansy mask. Okay. Uh, title's no good. I finished the whole day. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll cross off blue title. That's like two, two no's on blue title. <laughs> so is there anything else you guys want to talk about before I sign off? We're about three minutes away from six o'clock. I just have to jump off at six. Yes, it's Tara that loves Mahalo. And you guys know I love Tara. So if she loves it, I'm gonna give it a shot. Yes, I did pick up the coconut collection from Mark Jacobs. Someone's asking that. Um, can you do a collection video? I am really trying. I have attempted it about four or five times at this point. They're, they're just a lot harder <laughs> to do than I ever, thought I feel like I'm either talking too much or not talking enough about the products because it would just either take too long or you just fly through and it's kind of pointless. And then where my collection is, it's hard to get a camera there. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with all of that. But yes, I do want to do a collection video. La Mer new exfoliating oil. They have a new exfoliating oil. What? I have been falling down on this exfoliating oil. Interesting. I would like to try that. There are some things from La Mer that I cannot use because of my sensitive skin, mainly their cleansers and their eye stuff. As you can see, my eye skin is very sensitive, but it's almost, it's too strong almost. Um, so yeah, I do like pharmacy skincare from what I've tried. Um, I love their, the green clean, that cleansing balm, um, the spray. I've used uh, a bit of that. I had a friend um, who had some and I, I used it while she was here. Um, but I do like pharmacy and Mona actually loves the pharmacy lip balm. She, she just hauled three of them in her Sephora VIB sale haul. Oh, you know, I tried the Tatcha Indigo line for my eczema and um, it actually didn't make that much of a difference in my skin. Um, I did get the hourglass powder. Someone's asking. I did get the loose powder. I'm a Mahalo junkie. Awesome. All right. I'm going to get some Mahalo stuff then as soon as we get off. All right, guys, it is six o'clock. Thank you guys so much for joining in. I love like reading this chat here and kind of like chatting with you guys, um, you know, through this screen. Um, yeah, if you guys really like these live streams, 
I can do them, you know, more often, maybe on a weekly basis or something. Just let me know, maybe comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. Um, yeah, just let me know. And thank you guys so much. Have a great evening or morning, wherever you are. <laughs> Have a great day. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.